everyone, and thanks for attending the first ever Google Genomics webinar. My name is Sri, I'm the business head for Google Genomics, and today I'll be walking you through some of the key features, benefits, and some cool example applications of the genomics platform that we are very actively developing. It is fairly common knowledge now that sequencing cost has been plummeting much faster than Moore's law, and the volume of genomic information is exploding, as you can see in the slide. This trend is not likely to slow down anytime soon. Even reasonable projections estimate that the amount of genomic data will double every year and will hit one exabyte within the next five years. If the current trends persist, we will hit a billion genomes by 2025. That's billion with a B. But having all that raw data is not useful unless you're able to extract clinical meaning from it. We will need to layer on this raw data a variety of analytics, ranging from data mining, novel algorithms, intuitive visualization, all the way to very deep machine learning to ultimately have patient and healthcare impact. This kind of data quantity transition has been seen by Google before. We have seen it in search, in video, and also email. Now, as scientists scale up their studies and begin to query thousands and soon millions of genomes, you will need to have scalable technologies for manipulating, analyzing, and interpreting enormous data sets without the time or cost of moving that data from place to place. And this is where Google believes it can help. Google Genomics, that is built on the Google Cloud Platform, aims to help the life science community organize the world's genomic information and make it accessible and useful. And just to give you some perspective on Google Cloud Platform, just a part of Google's infrastructure, which supports YouTube, can handle 300 hours of video every minute. And our search, which returns you the results in quarter of a second, that search index is over 100 petabytes in size. Now let's translate that into genomic terms. That is the equivalent of raw data from six whole genome sequences uploaded to our servers every minute. And we can index and search the equivalent of a million whole genome sequences currently. Now let's talk about policy and mounting scientific evidence. Policy. There is increasing recognition on the importance of cloud computing for genomic data analysis. So much so that in early March, the NIH updated its genomic data sharing policy to allow use of public cloud to store and access genomic data. In parallel, there is mounting evidence in the life science community that cloud-based genomic data analysis is the future. Recent articles in Nature showcased how much cheaper, faster, and flexible cloud computing resources were compared to local data centers. Google Cloud Platform resources are even cited as a key public cloud computing resource that is used increasingly by genomics researchers. Google Cloud Platform offers both infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. However, we also build a unique genomics API that powers many genomic-specific features. And like a buffet, you can choose whether you want to use our infrastructure services, platform services, or genomic-specific feature set that we have built. We group the key benefits of Google Genomics as store, process, explore, and share. Let's talk about these one by one. Store. We enable content-aware storage. That is, we know that you are storing A, T's, G's, and C's and we have separate read and variant stores that allow a variety of different functionality. All of this data can be accessed by a web API that is an implementation of the GA4, G8 specifications. We store many reference data sets like thousand genomes, platinum genomes, as well as reference sequences for your analysis. I will also talk soon about a couple of large data sets that are stored on Google Genomics. Let's move on to process. We allow running of data processing pipelines to analyze public or private genomic data stored on Google Genomics. In addition, we inked a deal with the Broad Institute recently to bring the popular GATK pipeline as a service in a cloud-optimized format. Moving on to explore, we enable tertiary analysis of genomic data using a variety of tools for research purposes. We enable usage of Google-scale tools like BigQuery that allow real-time analysis of massive volumes of data. Moving on to share. We enable sharing of these datasets painlessly, yet securely, with fine-grained access control, 
two-factor authentication, client crease, security at rest and at transit. And security is paramount to us. We sign BAAs that ensure our platform supports our customers' HIPAA compliance requirements. We also have a variety of security certifications and some of the highest security and encryption standards in the industry to ensure that your sensitive data stays safe. Now let's get a little bit into the details of how Google Genomics actually works. The sequence data from the sequencer can be stored in a variety of different file formats, such as FASTQ, BAM, or VCFs on Google Cloud. It is then copied from Google Cloud to Google Genomics into the read or variant store, at which stage we know it's genetic information. The API calls can then be made to make a variety of queries or analysis on this data. If you want to do further tertiary analysis, we also enable specific data cohorts to be exported to BigQuery for further analysis. The interesting thing to note here is that we enable users of varying levels of expertise to access and analyze this data. If you're an expert programmer, you can write code. If you're a wet lab scientist, you can use a web UI to write simple SQL type scripts. If you're a bioinformatics scientist and your favorite tool is RStudio or IPython Notebook, you can directly make API calls from your tool of choice. I'd like to provide a few examples that illustrate these various benefits. We will start with walking through the Autism Speaks dataset and then move on to the National Cancer Institute's TCGA dataset. Autism Speaks is one of the largest nonprofits focusing on autism related research. As you can see, there is overwhelming evidence now that there is a genetic basis to the autism spectrum disorders. To understand this genetic basis, Autism Speaks has launched an ambitious project to sequence 10,000 persons, ranging from children with autism affected as well as unaffected siblings and parents. This entire data set is going to be made available on Google Genomics for qualified researchers, and when completed, will be over a petabyte in size. This data set stores genomic data ranging from raw reads to the variants, as well as phenomic data such as diagnosis results, demographic info, family info, and a few other pertinent metadata. We already have about 1,700 whole genome sequences and associated phenomic data for researchers to start analyzing. Autism Speaks also built a web portal to host this database to allow interactive querying of the data set. This allows non-bioinformaticians to easily query and explore interesting data cohorts. Now let's talk about the second valuable data set, which is the National Cancer Institute's TCGA data set. Google Genomics is involved in two of the three winning bids for NCI's Cancer Cloud Pilot. Both the open access TCGA data, as well as the controlled access data requiring dbGaP authorization will be hosted on Google Genomics. And just like Autism Speaks, ISB is developing a web research portal to allow users to explore the TCGA dataset and select pertinent cohorts of interest and open it directly into an IPython notebook to continue their analysis. Switching gears, we will now focus on the process and explore aspects of our platform. For analysis, we will briefly review Broad's GATK processing pipeline. We will then look at the open source code examples that we have made available on GitHub. And we will wrap up with BigQuery doing powerful analysis on genomic data. Let's talk about the first example. Google Genomics recently announced a partnership with the Broad Institute that combines their genomics expertise with Google's engineering expertise to help address complex biological questions. A key initial foray in this is to bring the widely used GATK pipeline as a service on Google Genomics. This enables users to not have to worry about infrastructure or platform or license and simply focus on running that pipeline on their data. Now let's talk about BigQuery which was a powerful Google scale tool built originally to interrogate very large internet log files containing billions of entries. Turns out this is very well suited for querying genomic data for tertiary analysis needs. In this plot, BigQuery is being shown to do a count and a plot of all the variants with a single or two alleles on the thousand genome data set. As you can imagine, this is a fairly heavy duty calculation and this query processes a terabyte of data and provides the result in 7.4 seconds. This type of rapid querying was not previously feasible without using such powerful Google scale tools. This makes research interactive and real-time, resulting in accelerated innovation. Finally, 
Google and the research community are building a growing repository of open source codes and tools that are available on GitHub for researchers. They can use it for their own pipelines or modify it for their analysis. Listed here is a subset of some of these tools which you'll find valuable, and I'll show two of these examples now for you. Shown here is an example of principal coordinate analysis code that we have made available on GitHub. When we run this PCA analysis on the entire 1000 genome dataset and color code the resulting scatter plot by population type, we get a nice clustering by ethnicity as expected. Here is an example of code created by Stanford University researchers also available on GitHub. This is used to perform quality control on genomic datasets. This code specifically plots heterozygosity rate on the X chromosome that helps easily identify mislabeled samples, shown in blue dots towards the top of the graph. We hope to continuously improve this code set and increase the ecosystem of valuable code that users can pull from on our GitHub page. Like the Autism Speaks and the TCGA dataset, we welcome interest from the community to host valuable datasets on Google Genomics. Similarly, like GATK, we welcome your analytics pipelines to be hosted and shared on Google Genomics as well. And that brings us to the conclusion of this webinar. We hope that you have a good understanding of Google Genomics platform and how it can really help you store, process, explore, and share genomic information. For more information, please visit our website listed here. Thank you so much.